JFT just fair and direct. Good morning everyone and welcome to JFD's daily market review for September the 24th. I am Harald Lambos Pissuros, Senior Market Analyst here at JFD and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds to read the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar continued to outperform all but one of the other G10 currencies on Wednesday and during the Asian morning Thursday. It gained the most versus NOC, NZD, Aussie and SEG in that order while it decked out uh, the least gains versus uh, GBP, Euro, CHF and the Japanese Yen. The strengthening of the US dollar, the weakening of the risk-linked Aussie and Kiwi and the fact that the other safe havens, the Yen and the Franc, were among the currencies that lost the least ground suggest that uh, markets turned back to risk off at some point yesterday. Indeed, looking at the performance in the equity world, we see that although major EU indices finished their, ses their session in positive territory, all three of uh, the US uh, of the main US ones tumbled on average 2.44% with the negative investor morale uh, rolling into the Asian session today. Yesterday the main events on the economic agenda were the preliminary PMIs for September. In Eurozone the manufacturing index rose but the services one slid into contractionary territory more than offsetting the improvement in the manufacturing sector. The composite PMI slid to 55.7 from 59.1. Even though this has not affected European shares much, a similar pattern in the US PMI was more than enough to prompt, in, to prompt more investors to abandon US stocks. Warnings over the US economic outlook by Fed officials may have also added uh, some pressure. Vice Chair uh, Richard Clarida said that the economy remains in a deep hole of uh, joblessness and weak demand and called for more fiscal, for more fiscal stimulus with uh, Cleveland uh, President Loretta Mester echoing his remarks by saying that the nation is still in a deep hole regal regardless uh, the comeback we've seen. As uh, for our view, the PMI is added to concerns with regards to the global economic recovery while the new, rest, the new restrictions in several nations and the prospect of others following suit suggest that if uh, the virus continues to spread at a fast pace, the October indices may be much worse. We would stick to our guns that further declines in equities and other risk-linked assets are possible, something that could keep the safe havens dollar and yen elevated. We will hold some reservations with regards to a strengthening Swiss franc due to the fact that the SNB remains committed to intervene in the FX market when it judges uh, necessary in order to weaken the currency. Now speaking about the SNB, today the bank announces its monetary policy decision. Its uh, latest meeting in June proved to be a non-event as officials kept interest rates unchanged, unchanged at minus 0.75% and repeated that they remain willing to intervene more strongly in the FX market. They also reiterated the notion that the Swiss franc remains highly valued, with uh, President Jordan saying that they, may, they made substantial interventions since March and that there is no specific, li a specific limit to that. With the franc now trading at higher levels against the euro than back then, we expect Jordan and his colleagues to reiterate once again that the franc is highly valued and to continue signaling willingness to intervene, to intervene when necessary. Having that in mind, a similar stance to the prior one is unlikely to prove a major market mover for uh, the Swiss franc. We have another central bank deciding on interest rates today, and this is uh, the Norges Bank. At its uh, prior meeting, this bank decided to keep interest rates unchanged at 0%, repeating that the outlook and balance of risks suggests uh, that uh, they will most likely stay at that level for some time ahead. 
Officials acknowledge that uh, the economy is in the midst of a deep downturn and added that uh, new information largely confirms the picture of developments presented in the June report. Now, with the GDP data showing that mainland Norway contracted 6.3% uh, in the second quarter, very close to the bank's estimate, and the CPI is accelerating in August, Norges Bank officials are likely to continue sitting comfortably on the sidelines. Now, as for the rest of today's events, during the European session, Germany's IFO survey for September is due to be released. Both the current assessment and expectations indices are expected to have increased to 89.5 and 98 from 87.9 and 97.5 respectively. This would drive the business climate index up to 93.8 from 92.6. An improving IFO survey supported by the ZDW survey for the month, both indices of which rose by more than anticipated. In the US, new home sales for August are coming out, with the forecast pointing to a 0.1% month-over-month slide after a 13.9% rise in July. We also get the initial jobless claims for last week, which are expected to have declined slightly to 840,000 from 860,000 the week before. As for the speakers, we have uh, five on today's uh, schedule. Fed Chair Powell will speak before Congress for a third day in a row, while uh, we will also get to hear from U.S. Treasury Secretary Stephen Mnuchin, Chicago Fed President Charles Evans, New York Fed President John Williams, and Bank of England Governor Andrew Bailey. So that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 7 o'clock a.m. GMT time. You can find the link in the description below. So goodbye, have a great day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again tomorrow. JFT just fair and direct.